Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you a process video for Project Life. Here are the cards that I decided for on my spread. Now you can see the two so funds there, but don't worry, I'll be covering one up. And on the left there, there are some lettering or words that are upside down. I'll be covering that up as well. So my husband and I went to a baseball game on July 3rd, and I wanted to do a page spread for that. Here is the page protector that I decided on. It's a Becky Higgins Design A. And I also pre-printed all of my pictures on my Canon selfie because I just figured it would be easier to do the spread if the pictures were pre-printed. So let's get into this. I'm going to start with the first card, which is my title card, and I will zoom in so you can take a closer look. And the first thing I need to do is cover up those words that are upside down. I wanted the white stripe to show across the top, and I find this 3x4 card in my stash. I just like that it has the navy border and it works with all the colors in the layout. So I take out my plus tape runner and I love this tape runner. I cannot do project life without it and you'll see it through the whole entire process video because I love it. And I had some clippings from the baseball program and I wanted to include those. I also found this really cool stitched banner that was in one of the Scraptastic kits. So I added that as well. I wanted to put that wood veneer to the top right corner but I didn't like the way it looks so instead I went over to my stash of wood veneers and I I end up taking out this geotag that I like a lot better. So I'm happy with that, but I still wanted to add more. So I go over to my cut aparts. This is just an iris container from Michaels that I store them in. And I find this little tag. It says hashtag currently, and I think it matches perfectly. So I'm going to include it. I take out my tape runner and I start adhering everything down. And I love that that little piece that I cut out of the program has the team names and the date and everything. And that is the team logo. And I'm looking at it and I want to add a little bit more. So I decide to take out my piercing mat from Stamping Up and my piercing tool from We Are Memory Keepers. And I'm going to add some brads to this. And I love this piercing mat from Stamping Up. It is awesome. And basically, I'm just going to take the template and line it up. And in the corner of the logo of each corner, I'm going to punch a hole and I'm going to add brads to it. I just figured it would dress up the logo and bring your eyes to, towards the logo, bring attention towards it. And I thought that was really a neat idea. So I pull out my brads from my sash and I'm going to pull out four small mini brads, the silver ones, and I'm going to include those because I think they will really make that logo pop out a lot. And I'm just going to add those and I'm going to use my We Are Memory Keeper brad setter. Otherwise, I tear up my fingers and my nails and I really love this tool. I highly, highly recommend it. Okay, so that is perfect. It came out just like I wanted it to. And I thought I was going to add some sequence to it at this point. It's a really busy card. And once I put down the sequence, I see that it's just not going to work. So I totally scratched that idea. But what I do decide is I want to add another Brad to that tag down at the bottom. And I go back to my Brad stash. And I find one that has a white crystal in it or a white... Um, rhinestone and I love it. I know there's not supposed to be blingy stuff and rhinestones in baseball but in my world there is. <laughs> so I love how the card came out. I'm going to call that done and add it to the pocket and I'm really pleased with how the title card came out. So we're going to move on to the next card and I'm going to put that out on my surface. We're going to start working on this one. Now the first thing I do is go through my pictures and I love that bird which is the team mascot. He was so cute and I'm just flipping through my three by four cards here and I'm trying to find something to possibly mat that photo on and just looking through. I don't find anything to mat the photo on but I find this card right here that I feel like is just perfect for it and it's great for journaling so I'm going to add that. Now these are my cut aparts from Scraptastic which is a monthly subscription kit for Project Life. Um, I get a lot of these and I wanted to use one and I found that one that says yeah and I really liked it. Now I go back to my cut aparts and I'm looking through and I find these really cute hearts that I want to add as well. So I'm liking the way this is coming together and I wanted to add one more thing but I didn't want to make it too big busy and I'm just kind of fussing around here and I do finally end up finding a tiny little banner right there that says this was epic and 
I like the way that looks. So I am going to commit to these and use my tape runner to put everything down. Now, I wish I hadn't because I end up having to peel all of this stuff up a couple of times, but that is why I love my Plus tape runner so much. The glue does not set right away, so you have a lot of time to play around with things before the items actually set. So I'm gonna adhere everything down and yes, I'm turning it upside down because for some strange reason, I can line things up better upside down. Hard to explain. And I'm going to use my tiny attacher to attach down that banner. And then I'm going to use my tape runner to put that little yay die cut up on the top of the picture. I just want to tuck it in there and just have it sticking out of the top. And then I realized that I forgot the heart, so I'm going to have to peel everything up. And I left this in, guys, because I wanted to show you that it's not always so perfect. Sometimes things just don't work out, and you do have to do a lot of moving and lifting and re-adhering. So I like that, so I decide that I'm going to do my journaling. And basically, I'm just writing how goofy it was that this mascot came all the way to the top bleacher to see me and my husband. It was really funny. Now that I'm looking at it, it's feeling plain to me, and I want to add some Something else and the reason why is in the bottom left hand corner there's a couple of guys sitting there and one of them was looking at me when I took the picture and I kind of want to block him out of the picture so I thought I would use one of these chipboard pieces or the studio calico stars but it didn't work out so I end up taking out my wood veneers again and I'm going to flip through them and see if there's something that I can use to cover those people in the corner. And I find this Polaroid frame and I love it. And here I go. I have to rip everything up. And I'm going to use my Tombow Mono Multi Adhesive to glue this frame down. And that is my adhesive of choice when I can't use my tape runner. I love it. It's just so perfect for me. And it's the only adhesive that I use. So I'm going to mount that on top of the picture. And I really absolutely love this. So I just need to take my scissors and trim the bottom of the photo because it's a little too large for that frame. But overall, once I'm completed with it, I truly love it. So I'm going to put that down on my card. And unfortunately, that die cut on the top is now up too high. So I'm going to have to peel that up again. And there I'm just rubbing a little bit of glue off the card that was left behind. And I'm going to put that frame back down. And then I'm going to re-adhere that little die cut up on the top. And I want to tuck it behind the frame and it's perfect now. Now I look at it and of course you guys know I have to add more. So I pull out some sequins and I tried to make sequins work on the last card and it didn't. So here I was determined to make them work. And as busy as the card is, I still thought that the sequins weren't too bad to add to it. And I'm just looking for the right color combo. I end up putting this clear one up there and I don't like it because you can't see it on the background. So I change it over to black. Once I do that, I love the way that looks. So I am going to adhere those down. And I use my Tombow glue for this and my precision scissors. This is the easiest way for me to put down um, sequence. It's nice and easy. And after I adhered the sequence, I look at the card and the top right corner still feels plain to me. So I still want to add to it. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do at first, but then I decide that I'm going to put a piece of washi tape that coordinates with the rest of the papers. And I love the final result of this card. This is my favorite card on the whole spread. So I'm going to add that to the pocket and we're going to move on to the next card, this star card. Now it was almost 4th of July, so I thought that star card was perfect. Now I'm going to pick the picture for this card and I know I want to use the seating stadium seating picture for that and I'm going to add this flare because there's a guy sitting down there that I don't know and I want to cover him up. So I really like the way that looks. I decide I'm going to use the same um, washi tape that I used above the card above for that and I'm going to just adhere down that picture and I just feel like it's a little too plain so I go back to my wood veneers I find this really cute tag wood veneer and I'm going to add that to the card but I need to dress it up so off to my stamps I go again and these are all gossamer blue and scraptastic stamps from the monthly subscription kits and I pick this one from gossamer blue I'm going for that little star right there and I'm going to mount that on my clear um, 
stamping block and I'm going to use some temporary adhesive to hold it down on my craft mat because the wood veneer was a little bit warped and I'm going to use my VersaFine Onyx Black Ink to stamp this star. I just needed to put something there and I absolutely love how this came out. I love stamping on wood veneers. So I'm really pleased with that. I'm going to adhere that to the top of the card right in the middle of the washi tape. Once I adhered it down, it was sticking up too much because it was so warped, so I decided that I'm going to use my tiny attacher to hold it down. Plus, I think the little staples give it a lot of interest. So I'm really happy with the way that came out. I'm going to actually call that card done, put it back in the pocket, and I'm going to add the flare button to the outside of the pocket. I just feel like it puts less stress on the pocket, and it's less likely for the pocket seams to split. So we're going to move on to the next card. Now, this one here, I stamped the word noteworthy on the top and I used embossing powder and I'm going to take my heat gun out here and I'm going to heat the embossing powder. I love to use stamps and embossing powder on my cards for those of you that watch me know that and I'm just going to heat it up. I also cut the little tip of the arrow with my craft knife so I can add a picture and look how sparkly that is or how shiny that is. I just love heat embossing on my cards. And I know the perfect picture to add here. This is a new statue they added in the park. They spent a lot of money for it. So I think it was very noteworthy. And see how I tucked it under the arrow? I didn't want to cover the arrow, so I had cut it with my craft knife so I could slide the picture underneath it. And then I looked at it and the side of it looked a little too plain, so I'm going to add a little bit more washi tape. I'm just going to add it to the side of the card and fold it over. And to me, it just feels like it completes the card. It makes it look more well-rounded. And I'm going to call that card done and put it into the pocket. Now I'm going to go to the next card, and this is just a filler card. But guys, you know me, I cannot leave this card plain. So back to my stamps I go. And this time I think I'm going to pull out a Scraptastic stamp set. And I pull that one right there and I like it because it says for the win and I thought that was perfect for a baseball game. I don't believe they won the game, but you know, I was trying to just be optimistic about the whole thing. <laughs> I think they got badly beat, so but we were hoping for the win. So I added this and I'm just gonna put it on my stamping block. I'm gonna use my embossing buddy there and that's just gonna remove any static electricity. So the embossing powder is gonna stick where I want it to. And then I'm gonna use my Versamark ink and stamp right at the bottom of the card. And it's just a sticky ink that's transparent and it's gonna allow the embossing powder to stick on it. I'm gonna use my Ranger Super Fine Detail Silver Embossing Powder and pour that on and just tap off the extra. And I'm gonna funnel that back into the container. And I love embossing. So here I'm just showing you how I heat it up with my heat tool. And I love to watch embossing powder turn from when it's not completely done to when it's done. And there it goes, it's turning already. And I used silver, so it's gonna be really super shiny. And I love, love the way that looks. So I'm really happy with that. But I need to put something on the top of the card. It felt a little too plain for me. So I pulled my cut aparts out again and I'm just flipping through. Now, I really like that one. I wish I had kept it, but I end up changing my mind on that. And I find a sticker instead that says a perfect summer day. And it has little pendants on it. And that reminds me of baseball. So that's why I added it to the spread. And it really was a perfect summer day. So I'm just going to trim the ends off of the sticker so that it fits better on the card and I really like the end result of that so I'm going to call that card done and add it to the pocket and then we're going to move on to the next one that has the grass border and I know which picture I'm going to put here because of the grass I want to put the field picture I just figured it worked out really good but I want to add something to it so I take out these little tabs from Scraptastic I get these from the Project Life kit that comes in a subscription box from Scraptastic and you guys know I love these tabs I use them all the time and I'm going to use my tiny attacher to attach it I just needed to break up the sky in that picture with the background of the card because they were too similar and I love how that came out so I'm going to hear that down 
and really happy with that. I wanted to go real simple on this card since the other ones were so busy. And I'm going to put a little rhinestone in the center of it because, of course, rhinestones and baseball go together. Of course they do. <laughs> and so I'm going to call that done, and we're going to add that into the pocket, and I'm going to move on to the bottom left card. I'm going to pull that one out and this one here I know what I'm going to do because I have the tickets for the game and I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to use my tape runner to put them down. I was originally going to build a pocket but I decided against it. I really just like the logo and the writing on these tickets so I really wanted them to show and didn't want to cover them up in any way. And the left side needs something so I go back to my handy dandy wood veneers and I'm trying to find something that I'm going to like to go on that left side and I love this today wood veneer. The only thing is it's a little too pale for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my Distress Paints Weathered Wood from Tim Holtz and I'm going to paint this wood veneer and you guys have seen this in my past spreads as well and I'm just going to brush it over the wood veneer and they're super easy to paint this way and I think I end up doing three coats on this because I wanted it to be really solid and I'm just drying it with my heat tool because I'm very impatient and I love how it came out. So I'm going to attach that to the card and I'm going to use my Tombow glue again and this is why I love this glue so much because you have a little wiggle room with it. Once you place the piece down on your card you're going to have time to move it around before it actually sets and I like having that little bit of wiggle room. So I'm going to put it down and you're going to see when I put it down it's a little crooked and I will have to straighten it out and I do that a couple of times because when I'm filming it's really hard to line things up for me sometimes so just moving it around trying to get it in the perfect spot and I'm going to add a little rhinestone to the hole and I think I might readjust it one more time because it looks crooked to me, especially now that I'm seeing it in the video. There we go. And I make it to where I like, and I'm going to call that done and put that in the pocket. And then we're on to our last card. Now, this card here, I want the So Fun to show. So I'm just trying to get it to fit the right way. And I pull out a stamp from the Greeting Farms. It's Baseball Ian. And I'm definitely adding this stamp to this layout because it's just so perfect. So I'm just moving it around. Around and I realized that I'm going to need to trim down that picture for in order it, for it to fit so I just take out my Fisker's paper cutter and I'm going to trim the photo slightly so that it fits I want the so fun to show and I'm going to take my stamp stamp it and color it um, off screen it would just take too long to show you that process and he came out so cute and I fussy cut him and I'm gonna add him to the spread but I need something else for this so I pull out this border die from cats pajamas it's the cloud border and I use white felt to cut out the clouds and I added some wood veneer stars and a cork piece and I love the way this looks so I'm actually gonna pop him up on foam tape so that he lays good onto the felt clouds and the final overall card is just so adorably cute now i'm just adding a cue to the top of his hat because the baseball players had cues on their hats and i just thought this was so cute so i added that and i'm thrilled with the result of that card so here are all my cards in the spread i hope you guys like this please thumbs up if you want to see more process videos i love to hear your comments as well i appreciate all the great comments that you guys leave thank you so much for watching bye